Good morning, my Aries Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aries? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Aries, I'm already drawn to pull. From this fucking deck. So, I don't know what's going on. You got someone wanting to come back. Someone's wanting to say something. I have a feeling, Aries. Let's go with it. I can't wait for the day we will start living our life together. You are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. I can't wait for the day we will start living our life together. You are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. Those are positive cards, Aries. I like that. I like that. I'm not feeling any negativity either. The, I can't wait for the day we will start living our life together. Um, I think it's just basic, normal, maybe setbacks. Maybe you're, you're not in the same place geographically. For some of you, maybe you're just calling in your perfect match, right? I'm loving that, Aries. That's beautiful. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Aries Collective. Aries, you already had a card pop out on you here, and I'm seeing the Ace of Wands, someone ready to take action. Queen of Swords in reverse, though. Mmm. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, Aries, so if someone wants, yeah, Ten of Cups, I think someone is uh, liking you, One, someone definitely wants to come in with an offer, but I think they might see you as being a bit strong, you're intimidating, <laughs> okay, now I don't know if you're really a bitch, but uh, someone is probably thinking that you are, um, but I mean, they see uh, Happily Ever After with you, um, Ten of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Uh, and the Five of Pentacles. You might have had a falling out with this person. But you might not, this might not have been like a lover situation though. Okay, this might be someone that you just dealt with. This could be someone close to you that kind of knows how you are. Uh, this could be someone you used to work with. Someone that was around you. Someone that knows you don't take any shit, Aries, is really what I'm getting. But they actually like that about you, okay? So I'm not feeling like a, recon uh, like a reconciliation type energy. I think this might just be someone who is just intimidated as fuck. But they love that about you. They like that about you. You're fiery, right? And that's why they've been a little hesitant coming in. <laughs> Aries, there ain't a damn thing wrong with that, okay? You are who you are, right? If they can't take a strong, uh, a strong-minded, strong-willed, independent person, then you know what? <laughs> you can't change that about yourself, right? We are who we are. Because, like I said, I'm not really getting that you're just a bitch. I think you're just no-nonsense, you know what I mean? You're like, don't fuck with me. I ain't got time for this shit, okay? We're grown-ups here. Yeah, Seven of Swords. This person is watching you. But it's almost like they feel like they have to be on guard. For some of you, maybe this is a, a child. If this is a, a child you're dealing with that's a little afraid to come forward. You know, I mean, they know, you know, uh, you love them and everything. But they also know you're kind of a tough love type individual. So this could resonate on two different levels, okay? Um, this could be someone wanting to come in to make an offer of love. This could just be a kid wanting to reconcile with you, Aries. Uh, take it how it resonates. Okay, for some of you, Aries, this could be a child of yours that maybe got involved with some shit they shouldn't have, and now they're, uh, 
They're like on the run from somebody. Now, I'm not thinking this is like the law, but maybe, you know, if they started dealing with the wrong crowd of people and maybe they owe somebody t money or something like that, Aries, that could also be the case. So we kind of got two storylines going. So, okay, one could be someone wanting to come in to make an offer, uh, you know, to get to know you better. And, and one of them could definitely be a child, okay? Uh... Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords energy. Because I'm almost feeling two different storylines there, okay? So we're going to try not to get them screwed up. But uh, however it goes, just know that it could it could be in family. Yeah, Two of Cups again. Uh, but the Two of Cups, it can also, it could be, a, you know, a child, a family member, a friend. Or it could be a lover. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Someone, uh, I really think someone could just be in some financial trouble. Or needing, uh, needing some security, needing needing something. Um, yeah, this is two different stories. Okay, we got the love story going on here, and then we you definitely got someone else around you, uh, friend, family um, that needs some help. Okay, they're they're in a bind. Okay, thank you, spirit. So, what's this two of cups about? For my Aries Collective. Yeah, the Hermit in reverse. They are ready to talk. And the King of Wands. They're ready to talk, but they can't take action, Aries. They can't take action. Uh, the Hermit. Who's the Hermit? So some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Fire sign energy, but the fire sign, boy, they have no passion. Yeah, this person wants reconciliation. What? Wait a minute. No. Okay, Aries, I'm feeling two distinct storylines going on here. Um, so I do think there's someone... I'm this is someone that wants to come in and, and uh, get to know you better, okay? And then we got someone over here that is just going through some shit, okay? I think you had a falling out. And they're they're just like stuck. They are so stuck. I feel like um if this I'm really feeling a child energy with this Aquari uh, Aries. I was wanting to say Aquarius, so that might resonate for somebody. Uh Aries, I really feel that this this child or this person is just feeling lost and confused because they don't know who the hell they can trust. It's like whatever they got going on, they don't know who they can trust. And they're really trying to hold on to like their stability, whatever they can, but they're so... If this is a, a child or a friend, family member, if they call you up... Um, Talk to them. The Seven of Pentacles here with the uh, the King of Pentacles. Some uh, some kid might have had a fallen out with their dad if they're like living with their father or issues with their dad. Yeah, this is a kid. This is a kid. This is someone's kid. Uh. Either a kid or a boss. Uh, the world in reverse, the hangman. I almost feel like if they went out on their own, if you got a child that went out on their own and you're not really around them enough, they could have got themselves into a situation that they thought was going to be good. But they're kind of getting taken advantage of. It wasn't exactly what they thought it was going to be, but that we are the world and the hangman here. And they kind of got themselves stuck in a situation, and they're just not they're just not happy right now. They might be just be it might not be all that dramatic. They might maybe it's a, a fear of being away from the family, fear of, of not being in contact. Some of them could have actually like went a few miles away from you, and they're they're not in their home turf, so they're feeling a little sad. So Aries, that's definitely another fucking storyline there. And then we got this love situation. I really do think someone wants to come in and talk to you and, and try to get to know you, Aries. But this person has absolutely zero gumption because you intimidate the fuck out of them. 
Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the uh, Seven of Cups here. This person... Aries, I'm feeling two distinct energies, okay? Uh, this one right here coming in, it might not be a lover so much as maybe a family member. You might have like two different people wanting to come in and talk to you. Because this energy, I'm almost feeling like a death or some kind of situation with the Nine of Pentacles there in reverse and the Seven of Cups with that Four of Swords. Maybe someone's wanting to heal a situation uh, if there was like a death or something in the family. They left like the family out in the cold and, and things just kind of went a little abrupt. Uh, relationships fell apart. People were butting heads trying to figure out what was up. And then we got this Queen of Pentacles energy uh, with the Queen of Wands. So we got two female energies here. So this could be a sister, a mother, an auntie, a grandma, someone along that lines, maybe a friend. Um... Aries, you got two distinct storylines going on. So I think you might have a family situation where a, a disagreement. But some of y'all definitely have a kid. Uh, so if you got a kid and you're not in contact with them, give your kid a call. Okay? Just check in on them. Check in on them, okay, Aries? Now this situation... I don't know, because see, we see the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles, and there's the, the star in reverse, the Five of Wands in reverse. Uh, you two just can't get the fuck along, okay? So there's like no way you can really get a resolution to this. Uh, you might be wanting to, they might be wanting to, but I don't know. With this King of Wands in energy here, then we got the Knight of Wands. I think you're almost afraid if you have this conversation, it's just going to lead to an argument. Yeah, the Knight of, Knight of Wands here with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. You all just can't see eye to eye on something. Page of Swords here in reverse. Yeah, definitely when it comes to a family. Okay? So if you're dealing with a family situation, maybe the death, maybe you're going through an estate, and, you know, everyone shows their ass when people are going through estates. I hope that's not your case, but for some of you, Aries, that could very well be it. So... This is either a child, could be maybe a brother or sister. It's someone separate. Two distinct energies here, okay? I think we got a younger energy who's got themselves in a situation that wasn't quite what they thought it was going to be, and maybe they're having some struggles. Uh, if they're if, if the child is living with their, their father, uh, maybe check on them, okay? So if you've got a child that you haven't talked to in a while, maybe really sit down and talk to them, see how things are going. And then we got a situation here where a reconciliation wants to happen, but you all are nowhere near ready to sit down and talk. Okay? Um, you know, if you can't have that conversation without either one of you being triggered, then you don't need to have that conversation. Especially if it's dealing with family issues. Um, a state or something along that lines, right? There's definitely a disagreement. Anything else from my Aries Collective? Aries, that was an interesting reading. Got yeah, seven of cups here. Someone is so... Um, <laughs> it might as well be in the reverse. It's like they know what they want to do or they know how they want to go about doing it, but then at the other token, they really don't know how they want to do it. You know what I mean? Someone's at that, that crossroads energy. For some of you, this is could definitely be just two different people. Yeah, the world in reverse. Something wasn't what someone thought it was going to be. You know, the choice they made didn't turn out to be the right one. And now they're just, they're just all up in their head, all up confused, right? If it's a child energy... They made a wrong choice, and you know, maybe now they're hundreds or thousands of miles away from home, and they feel stuck, right? And then you got another energy that may be wanting to reconcile to, uh, you know, um, quit being at odds with each other, but again, 
uh, it's like no one wants to to um, how do you want to say it? Admit defeat, sort of, and uh, come in and be the one to apologize. So, Aries, you got two energies going around you, two very important things. Um, check on a kid, a brother, sister. If you got someone out there that is is kind of on their own and you haven't heard from them in a while, double check on them. Uh, maybe if you can, send them a card with a uh, you know a little bit of money if you can afford it. I think they're going through more than than what they're gonna put on. It wasn't exactly what they thought it was going to be, but their pride won't let. Yeah, pride. Uh, you got two people you're dealing with, Aries, that have a lot of pride. And uh, obviously, if you're a very straightforward, straight talking, straight shooting kind of a individual, they're afraid to to talk to you. So I guess the advice would be maybe just listen and not talk when you're dealing with these people. And by all means, if you can't have the conversation without getting triggered, don't go there. Right? The hangman. You kind of know this. You might know these situations are going around and maybe you don't quite know how to uh, give assistance. Right? Because I, I don't feel like you want to say, I told you so. Even though it is basically, I told you so. And they know you could very easily say, I told you so. But I don't think you're going to do that, Aries. Because, you know, someone had big plans and they thought they were going to get, you know, big dreams, big plans. But at the end of the day, I think they still miss you, Aries. They miss you. So check on them, okay, Aries? Peace, love, and light, Aries. Peace, love, and light. I love that for you guys, Aries. I love that.